Um, but as healthcare takes center stage in terms of public focus right now, some are saying we're losing sight of financial regulatory overhaul as the shock of last year's near collapse fades. Our next guest says that may not actually be a bad thing. And he's here to tell us where we stand in the process of reforming the current financial system. He's Hal Scott, professor at Harvard Law School and director of the Committee on Capital Markets Regulation. Uh, good morning to you, sir. The Treasury Secretary going to be on Capitol Hill later today talking about where we are a year after we saw Lehman Brothers collapse and we saw the, the financial crisis really crescendo. Uh, are we going to see the type of regulation that we had anticipated throughout this year or have we, have we really lost momentum here? Well, I think uh, we eventually will, Margaret, but uh, this is all for the future. Uh, what we're talking about is not really addressed in any material way to the present crisis. So we better get it right because we're talking about a future here and we have time to look at it. Uh, when we talk about getting it right, where does that initiative come from? Does it come from the current existing regulatory agencies or as the Obama administration has sort of suggested here, we need to have the Federal Reserve have a more direct and more central role in, in overseeing the financial system? Well, it's got to come from the President and the Congress, uh, but there are many issues that we have to resolve. Uh, one of which is what you pointed to, which is the role of the Fed in terms of regulation. Uh, the Senate has uh, now been talking about a consolidation of the banking regulators, which I think would be very useful. And if you do that, actually, you could put into that new agency some of the powers that the Obama administration was anticipating for the Fed, particularly supervision of uh, financial institutions. Well, making the Federal Reserve the systemic risk regulator of choice, some critics would say, look, we've got something called the SEC, and they've obviously fallen down on the job, adding to another layer of uh, bureaucracy, essentially, in terms of the Federal Reserve's role, doesn't necessarily uh, prohibit things. Uh, legislative process or the regulatory process is, is clunky. It's not as fast moving as uh, the financial sector is. Can, can the Fed actually perform uh, the duties that the Obama administration is suggesting it should? Well, it's got to be uh, done through legislation. The most important thing is to give the Fed the power to regulate areas of great importance to uh, the, the financial system, particularly capital requirements. Uh, our committee recommended that they be the exclusive agency to do that. Uh, currently, that authority is split amongst uh, many different agencies. So that's going to require legislation. Um, and uh, the Fed cannot do that on its own. Uh, over the weekend, the top finance ministers from around the world suggested that banks should raise their capital requirements. Um, is, is that really a global coordinated response that needs to happen here? Well, yes, absolutely, because, uh, you know, we have international banks and uh, they operate in many countries. They compete with each other. Uh, we have been fairly successful over the years of doing this on an international level. But I should say that before we talk about, you know, how much capital banks should have and whether they should have more, we've got to do some big soul searching here about our, um, our ability to understand uh, as a matter of regulation how much capital banks should have. We, we haven't done very well mm -hmm. with that in the past. All right. Thank you so much, uh, Professor Scott of Harvard Law School. We'll be following uh, Treasury Secretary Geithner's testimony later today here on Bloomberg News.